don't know if you guys have been coming to see me for a long, long time. Uh, 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 I feel like I, I can say this to at least a couple of people because, well, I know when I was in the bathroom uh, before I came on stage, uh, I took a dump and then I got up and I got out and I saw like three guys that I knew that I'd seen. Sorry, is that too much information? They won't tell everybody anyway. They were like, dude, you took a shit this thing. This is amazing. And I came out and I saw a couple of buddies of mine that I had seen since way, 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 way back in the day. And I realized, holy shit, I think I was around when the pyramids were built. So I grew up in this little town called Cartersville, Georgia. What came on the local rock and roll station was heavy metal mostly, so I started playing. Um, I played along to heavy metal music every day, and I started getting where I could shred, you know. And I ended up doing pretty good at it, so much that my band was playing six nights a week. And I was playing six nights a week while I was in high school at this bar, where uh, basically we got paid in drugs and. Uh, of trucks, and so we ended up, it was the 80s, you know, so I just remember uh, every day I'd wake up about two hours later from being in this club every night, playing three sets a night till three in the morning, I get home and I had like eyeliner on running down my face coming to school the next day, big hoop earrings, I had hair down my hair. And then, you know, I got really funny looks because Cartersville, Cartersville was pretty, pretty conservative. You know, they were basically just, it was like football jocks, deer hunters, and cheerleaders, and that was it. So, not that there's anything wrong with any three of those. I just didn't know how to do any of them. So I ended up uh, seeing this girl every day, and she was just really, 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 really cute cheerleader. But, you know, I was kind of off limits to her because, you know, I was like this dirtbag with long hair and there was only one of us in the school like that and that was me. And so, you know, she would always look at me and she would go, she'd say, but she didn't call me Butch, she called me by my real name. She said, hey Brian, how's your little band doing? I don't know if you know this from playing in a band. Does anybody here play in a band? Do you get mad when somebody calls your band little? She had no idea, bless her heart, you know. She had no idea that three hours earlier, I was hanging out with like all people in their 20s and 30s, sneaking into the bar, hanging out till three in the morning, drinking God knows what and everything. And we come into school the next day and she's never left Cartersville, Georgia. And she's going, how's your little man? I'm not bitter. I just wrote a song about it and it goes like this. She likes hair bands on satellite radio. She walks out. 